back. There are so many procedures out there that promise to get rid of fat forever. But do you know which ones really clean out the fat and which ones just clean out your pockets? Often hard to tell. Please welcome head of the Lux Surgery Medical Center in New York City, Dr. Sachin Shridharani, or better known to his patients, thank God, as Dr. S. That's much easier to pronounce. Hi, <laughs> Dr. You. S. Is it really possible to get rid of fat permanently? Well, Meredith, the answer is absolutely yes. You know, there's so many products out there that make a lot of promises, but at the end of the day, we really need to know what works, what doesn't work, and what's going to be the right option for you in particular. So, in general, we've got about three things that are tried, true, FDA uh, approved that we can definitely use to get rid of the fat, and also a couple of options on the horizon. Yeah, we mentioned at the top of the show, one of them was injections, I understand. Yeah, absolutely. This product called ATX 101 by uh, Kythera Pharmaceuticals. We're really moving towards the ability to do an injection on your lunch hour and get rid of the double chin. Would so that right be now, immediately? Uh, it works after a few injections wow. spaced uh, a few weeks apart. And then yeah. there are clinical trials for a cream. Yeah, a cream. They actually uh, serendipitously figured it out when they were studying glaucoma medication and found that it got rid of the bags and the fullness on the lower eyelids. So it's really exciting in terms of maybe being able to melt the fat away by placing a topical cream right on the lower eyelids. Okay, I want to move over here, doctor, because Absolutely. you believe the best non-invasive procedure on the market right now is something that's called fat freezing. Yeah, so cool sculpting by Zeltique is actually freezing the fat away for good. It's this process called cryolipolysis, which is cryo freezing, lipo the fat, lysis just destroying it. And actually, Fabricio, my aesthetician, is applying it right now to Ana Lucia, my assistant. And what does um, that do? Yeah, this applicator actually is condensing a cooling mechanism and applying cold technology to the fat to freeze just the fat. It's targeted towards just destroying fat cells and not damaging surrounding skin. And is this more effective or as effective as liposuction? It basically is a substitute in terms of wanting to reduce the amount of fat. Patients generally get about a 20 to 25 percent fat reduction from it, so it's not going to get as much fat out as liposuction, but it's quick, it's relatively painless, no needles, no blood, no surgery, on the lunch break, one hour treatment per area. And the cost yeah. again? Usually around six to eight hundred dollars per treatment area. Okay. Uh, per, yeah, section. So. Okay, let's go on to the next treatment here. Absolutely. So really what we're going to talk about now in terms of getting rid of the fat for good is liposculpting, which is kind of a spin on what everyone else here may have thought was liposuction. So liposculpting is actually a really exciting and interesting way to tailor and cut the fat out by doing liposuction but accenting lines. We can chisel out the six pack, we can accent those, you know, sexy Victoria's Secret lines or the Abercrombie and Fitch lines that we see so much on people. So it's sort of tailoring liposuction to the next level. So you have one of your patients here. Was, did we see him before? Actually, Picture of her? Yeah, there we go. So this is Kristen, who is absolutely beautiful, even before having liposculpting. But really what was going on was Kristen was so concerned and just didn't like the fact that she didn't have the shape and the waist that she wanted, and also just that extra layer of baby fat, despite working out, despite going uh, and eating well. So really what so we did... So this is designed for somebody who's already in pretty good shape. The liposculpting part, right. absolutely, which is just the spin on liposuction. Right. But we're able to really kind of chisel out right down here centrally and accent these lines. And she's only about six to seven weeks out from surgery, so she's still going to continue to swelling's going to come down, and she's going to continue to just keep getting more and more beautiful. Yeah, she looks great to me. Okay, Absolutely. thank you, Kristen. Thanks so much. <laughs> okay, and finally, this next procedure is something very unique that you actually champion. Yes, absolutely. It's, it's a change on the tummy tuck. It's called the tubeless tuck tummy tuck and the tubeless tuck mini tummy tuck. So historically, when one does a uh, abdominoplasty, we have a low incision that I hide here in the bikini line. This is one of my patients that underwent a tubeless tummy tuck. She has a lot of stretch marks and a little bit of fullness from having had a few children and putting on some weight. So we bring her in and we do basically a drainless tummy tuck. So these drains are something that are routinely put in patients after surgery. And really what they're meant to do is to reduce the fluid that can build up inside of after someone. After surgery, yeah. Exactly. So they're really, they can be painful, they can break. Patients, um, you know, they can get snagged on your children as they're running by. You have them for a oh, week God, to two that's... weeks. Then you have a situation where the drains can actually even be clogged. So if we just kind of use this as a, you know, right. example, when it's in something a little bit thicker, and we try to get suction applied to it, you're just not going to get the same amount of things that come up. So you, what you've come up with avoids all of this. <laughs> right, exactly. Right. So the tubeless tuck tummy tuck gets rid of these painful drains by basically, we put, I put quilting sutures on the inside of the skin, 
and reconstruct the abdominal wall and put everything back where it belongs so you can't fill in with a lot of fluid. What is the biggest mistake that people make when it comes to plastic surgery? And That's a great question. Patient safety is number one importance. Any of these beautiful women out here and your audience in general need to go to somebody who is a licensed medical practitioner, Groupon, and all these different types of modalities have hit the market and people look to ways to save money. And what ends up happening is you can end up with bad Botox, bad filler. So going to a certified individual, going to somebody who has a great facility are all the right things to do. And this is not a substitute for healthy eating and exercise, is it in your uh, book? Absolutely not. Right. And always I encourage my patients, they need to be having something, uh, they need to have a good workout regimen, they need to also be plugged in maybe with a nutritionist if they're having a little bit of difficulty with calories. So we have all those different opportunities for my patients to meet with those people as part of our full team uh, with plastic surgery. Right. So, Dr. S, thank you so much. Pleasure absolutely. to have you here. Thank you very much. We will be right back.